let's start with the Premier League. Of course. So I mean, I mean these sort of players of the half season, right? Sometimes yeah. we can agree. This is not the calendar 2023, whatever. No, it's just the first six months of the season. And by the way, this isn't. This is the player of the. It's not necessarily the best player. No, just our choice. It's who you choice. think has had the best impacts on it's his team. It's whoever you want to give the award to. The league, you know, whatever. If I want to give the award to Axel Disasi, I can. You can, but you won't. I won't. You. Won't. All right. Who's your choice? Marcos is Mosala for for me the best player in this half season. I think he's been. Very good in a Liverpool team that hasn't been very good in a Liverpool team that is top of the table or, or just about, depending. We record this before the game against Arsenal. But they've been there without playing great football. They've had good individual performances like Soboslai, like Trent. But I think overall Salah, 11 goals, 7 assists, so 18 goal contributions in the Premier League so far this season. Nobody has more than him. He's got the most assists, the second most goal scored. He's created 13 big chances this season so far. Nobody has done more than that either. So I think he's been amazing. He reached a milestone, 200 goal for Liverpool, 150 in the Premier League for Liverpool. I think he's been again at 31, amazing. I didn't know you had all these, you came armed with all these You're stats saying. and numbers to go and, and, and back it up. My eye test tells me Salah, not as good as last year what or more previous years. Do? But then you come with those numbers yeah. and Liverpool are top of the table. Exactly. So uh, I went for somebody else. I went for Douglas Luiz. I love the story of nice. the guy who comes over and then has issues and he goes on loan, has issues and work permit issues, goes on loan, come back, and over time just establishes himself as, as a rock in that villain yeah. midfield with John McGinn. And obviously they are one of the stories of, uh, of the season, yeah. having done so well. Uh, next up, we have the surprise of the season. And it's whichever way we want exactly. to define surprise, right? Yeah. I'll go first. I am not suggesting that he's a surprise because he wasn't a good player. It was a surprise for me because I didn't think he could play in a three-man midfield in the way that he has. Not perfect yet, better to come. But Dominic Soboslai has adapted his, has adapted himself to Liverpool fans. And, and I would say Alexis McAllister too. Maybe they can share the award. Yeah. Playing positions which I didn't think were theirs. And yet, they've been a big part of that. Yeah, I agree. Mine is Aston Villa, of course. Incredible start of the season. Uh, right by the top of the table, beating City and Arsenal with back-to-back -back game in back-to-back -back games, four days apart. Some great football played at times. You mentioned Douglas Luiz, Watkins, McGinn, defensively, Pau Torres, Unai Emery doing an amazing job. So Aston Villa are my surprise of the season so far. Okay, now, um, it's interesting. No love for Arsenal so far. I wonder no. if they're going to turn up later. It's, it's, it's interesting. Sure. Maybe Our disappointment of the season. Aye. Aye. Who are you going for, Jules? I'm going for Chelsea. I'm really sorry. I just think that... I know there's a League Cup semi-final to come and things can improve <laughs> in the second half of the season. I just expected more. And that's why I'm disappointed. I'm not saying that all is bad and that nobody's performing. Cole Palmer is good. Styling has been good. There's, there's some interesting stuff there. I just thought by now they will be better as a team. They will play better football. The structure will be better in possession, out of possession. And I'm just left a little bit disappointed but what I've seen so far from Pochettino and the team. No European football as well. Yeah, exactly. That maybe that would mean Pochettino have more time to work and we'd be further along. Although no Kunku either. Yeah. I, I went for the other obvious one, Manchester United. I, you can't be in this situation. Um, and look, it's 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 across the board. It's just the Premier League. It's in the Champions League as well. I feel like we are no further forward. And then you had the Greenwood situation and the Sancho situation. And the Rashford situation. Yeah. The PR, can, can I say her name now? No. no. No, no, I can't. I'm supposed to have to pretend like we don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, all this stuff, it doesn't help. And I think it's as a club. It's not just all on Ten Hag. As a club, I was expecting at least maintain the level you were at last year. Instead, it feels like they've been sliding backwards. Mm -hmm.